So, how's social distancing? I think COVID-19 is a very unusual moment in world history. So we want to use our technology developed by our research team to observe and document what's happening in the world. Right. Around the world, there are thousands of internet-connected cameras that have been set up with views of tourist attractions. What we've done at Cam Squared is develop the technology to discover these cameras and also to record data from them. Using our technology, we can observe whether public locations are crowded or empty. As you can see in this comparison, the first image was taken in Times Square on June 2019, and the second was taken in April of 2020. The first one is very crowded, and the second one is basically empty. The technologies for artificial intelligence has made significant progress in recent years. We can use artificial intelligence to analyze images and video with very high accuracy. A few years ago, we started a research project using artificial intelligence to analyze the vast amount of data on the internet. We want to study whether artificial intelligence is ready to analyze the diverse data obtained from network cameras on the internet. Personally, I think COVID-19 is a great example of how network cameras can help. People are staying at home during the pandemic, so we really can't send camera crews all over the place. We really need technologies that can see the world without needing to leave our homes. That's where network cameras come in. But before we can really use network cameras, we need to first find these cameras on the internet, and then we must organize all that data. We've developed a set of methods that use our computer programs to find cameras from all over the web and save our results at Argonne National Lab. Yeah, and this is a difficult problem because there are lots of ways network camera information is organized over the internet. We had to create different ways to retrieve the data based on how the data is organized. Using different methods, we've actually been able to discover more than um, 30,000 cameras in over 100 countries, giving us views around the world in real time, just from our living room. Of course, we have to be very careful. Privacy is an important topic. We follow the guidelines set by Purdue universities. We do not identify any individuals. We use only public data available on the internet. Anyone connected to the internet can have access to the data. We want to analyze the data to answer only one question. Is the public place crowded or empty? Yeah, and we want to display this to the world too. This is not only good for the research community, but encourages the transparency on our part as well. So we've built a website that documents progress of the pandemic and the public response. And you know what? What is really cool is that this website integrates with our camera aggregators to display live videos and images from all over the world as well. We certainly hope that by doing this, we can encourage collaboration among other researchers in analyzing the data and further improving responses to future crises, even though we're all staying at home. We want to thank those people that cannot stay home. We want to thank healthcare professionals, the people that deliver goods, and the people that maintain our critical infrastructures. You have done a great service to the world, and we thank you. Well, I think we got it. That was really good, guys. But I think it's time to get back to some work now. 